Okay. You're ready, guys? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Uh, for the next segment, we have here uh, Leviathan. Congratulations, Guy, for your victory. Also for reaching playoffs. Uh, now we open the floor for questions from the media. Remember, please raise your hand and it will count on you. When asking your question, please state your name and the outlet that you represent. Okay, we have one question from Sidart. Uh, hello, guys. Congrats on the win today. Uh, this is Sid, uh, freelance. Um, uh, yesterday in Sentinel's press conference, they, a lot of them mentioned that they wanted to face you guys in the playoff stage. So do you have anything to say to the Sentinel's? This question is open to everyone. Who? Sentinel's. <laughs> uh, I'll see you there and we'll take you right back to you, bro. I want to meet them. Meet my boy, Sassy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. I'll see you guys there. It's going to be fun, I guess. <laughs> Wait, we're playing against? No, we don't know. We got him here. We're going to take them out also. Wow. <laughs> so motivational. Yeah. <laughs> so powerful. Cool. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, next question is from Facundo. Eh, gracias. Eh, FD News acá. Eh, felicidades por la victoria, Leviathan. Quería preguntarles eh, qué sensaciones, eh, al equipo generalmente, qué sensaciones le deja esta... Esta victoria, sobre todo, en, en Sunset. Uh, King, si quieres contestar. Digo, obviamente, muy felices con el resultado. Creo que eh, lo dije también en la conferencia de backstage. Eh, teníamos que probarnos nosotros mismos eh, el equipo que realmente somos. Eh, no lo pudimos hacer contra Trace. Y nada, veníamos con todas las ganas de hacerlo contra Vitality. Y siento que... En gran parte lo hicimos muy bien, así que nada, me quedo contento con eso, con a, eh, habernos probado eh, de demostrar el equipo que somos y de nada, gracias a eso haber conseguido el pase a playoffs. Gracias. Una última eh, pregunta. Bueno, Com en la entrevista post partido decía que no importa el equipo que le den, los van a derrotar, no importa quién sea, pero viendo que ya preguntaban anteriormente. Eh, ¿Con qué equipo les gustaría enfrentarse en lo posible? Ok, this question goes for Con. Uh, what eh. team? Ah. No, generalmente, generalmente. Yo decía la oh. referencia de Con en la entrevista. So, anyone can ask? Can answer? Para... <laughs> Yo también. <laughs> Pero no. Uh... Ah. Eh, ¿Quería responder? Digo. Estoy de acuerdo con, con Com, porque al fin y al cabo, como equipo, creo que tenemos la meta de, de ganar todo el torneo. Entonces, en verdad, no nos importa como el equipo que nos toque al frente. Eh, creo que si hacemos nuestro juego, le podemos ganar a cualquiera. Así que, nada, eh, estoy de acuerdo con, con lo que hice mi compañero. Mi compa. Perfecto, perfecto. Muchas gracias por el tiempo y suerte en, en playoff. Gracias. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, next question is from Sierra Frisbee. Yeah, uh, Sierra here, just freelance. Um, my question is to King or Itabata. Um, I talked to Sender and I asked them their thoughts on your icebox approach for the attack half, particularly your lean into the A defaults round after round. And I just wanted to get your guys' thoughts on what was the strategy uh, behind that since it was round after round, just clawing your way towards OT and it worked. <laughs> I think we started with like we didn't start with this game plan in mind. Yeah. But we found the gap. <laughs> <laughs> the the thing is like when you go on, on A side on Icebox, if you're the better team, you're gonna win those rounds no matter like how many times you go, no matter how many players they put there. If you if you're just fighting better together, you're gonna win it. So this is what we this is why we leaned into A this much, because we felt like we're the better team on the map and we can just we can just close it out this way. I have a follow up on that then actually. Um you said I think during a, a listen in on a on sunset when it was like seven one, you said we're finally playing aggressive. Uh did that mean like you weren't playing how you wanted to, like you said on Icebox, or what was that in reference to? Uh, I think it was like mostly a, a reference towards the overall performance that we had so far in champions because the way we played in split two uh, Americas and then the playoffs, we were a very, very different team and we finally sold this team on sunset. 
and big parts of, of Icebox as well, to be honest. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Uh, next question is from Rabish. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Uh, hey, everyone. Uh, my question is for Calm. Uh, uh, first, hey, what's up? How you doing, bro? Love the blue hair. Uh, real quick, I want to ask. I find, look, uh, throughout this almost entire season, I feel as if there's always been this energy that you've constantly had to like step up and be like, nah, like I should be here. There's always just this like elements of people that kind of doubt in your skill, which is cringe, by the way. Uh, I just want to ask, do you still feel like you're playing with a chip on your shoulder or, you know, or considering all you've already managed to accomplish, you're comfortable, you're cool, you're chilling, now you're just playing just to, you know, win? Um, For me, I still have the chip on my shoulder. I want nothing more than to establish like a legacy in this game to be honest um i feel like i work very hard to get there and you know i think every day is this new challenge and i just want to literally just become one of the best if not the best in the game cheers thanks man recording in progress oh thank you uh <laughs> uh next question is from siapa frisbee yeah, if no one's gonna ask, I got it. Um, my question is for anybody, but it might be a good question for Tex since it's about your prior team. Uh, the playoffs draw is happening after PRX versus EG, and there's a chance you get paired up against G2. This is the first seed coming out of their group. What do you think of that potential VCT America's Grand Finals rematch? And what do you think of them like with their performance so far at Champions? Um, if we got them, I think it would be fun. Um, I kind of want to beat them in the Grand Final instead, I'm not gonna lie. Um, just to repeat the whole, you know, VCT America's final. Um, but, yeah, I think they've been playing pretty good. Um, they seem very structured right now. They're making all the right moves. They've beat some good teams already, and I think they've been playing good. So if we match up with them, it'll be a really exciting game. Great. Hope to see you both in grand finals then. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have one question here in the room. Hello, I'm Via from Nerditude. My question is for Com. Uh, you said in the post-match interview that the qualifier Qualified teams for playoffs just show how everyone in, in this champions is so talented. Um, I'm curious if there's any team that surprised you that made it into playoffs or if there's any team that you expected would made it but didn't. Mm, I think for expected to made it, for sure, Gen.G. Um, honestly, looked like Sentinels were just playing really well that day. And, yeah, I mean, Gen.G for sure I thought was going to be, like, obviously, like, the tournament favorite. And then for a surprise team, I'd be stupid not to say Trace, to be honest. Um, they played well against us. I don't think we were at our full strength at that time. But, I mean, they're playing well, and obviously they deserved it. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have one last question from Siddharth. Uh, hello. Uh, got another question here, this time for Tex. Uh, on map one, obviously, you guys won, but you had a pretty uh, quiet performance in terms of like fragging. Uh, but on map two, you were just absolutely flying, hitting all those shots, crazy shots. Uh, just what was it like to, you know, mentally bounce back and, you know, reset for a second map? Um, you just have to reset, really. And, like, you can't let a last map perform. Like, uh, performance is like a factor next map. Um, I also turned my mouse pad around, and I was insane after that. I think that was the biggest part of it. Um, but no, really, it's just uh, being confident in your teammates. Even if you are you know you're not having a good day, you can always bounce back the next game. And it's just strong mental. It's just experience. Like I think everyone's played a ranked game where they're terrible, and then the next ranked game, they're insane. So I'm, I'm matching the same. Awesome. Thank you, and good luck in playoffs. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. It seems that we have more questions in the chat. So next question is from Miguel Mendez. Hey, hello. Uh, my question is from Masino. Uh, me gustaría saber qué aspectos trabajaron tras la derrota. Si hubo alguna preparación diferente para esta serie. Uh, esa sería mi pregunta. Yo, yo creo que como lo han nombrado acá, principalmente el, el tema de cómo jugar nuestro juego, jugar nuestro como siendo proactivo, nosotros siendo como el protagonista del partido, y algo que hoy día lo conseguimos como demostrar en Sunset más que nada, y eso, como ser como los protagonistas y no dejar al otro como jugar su juego. Thank you so much. Uh, next question is from Arnab. And to all, uh, after the post match interview, uh, Com was asked about who he wants to face, and his reply was 
give us anyone uh, but i want to ask about uh, ask from the team itself who do you guys want to face or are looking forward to have a face off in the playoffs uh, <clears throat> honestly any team as i said already uh, you ask about who, which team we want to face right in playoffs yeah yeah as i was said before i think any team to be honest uh, I'd rather not play NA because we already play them. So I just want to face other regions, either more MEA or more APAC, China. Uh, but overall, I think any team, uh, we're, we're going to play way better playoffs. We're going to be showing a way stronger form. So yeah, any team, and it's going to be fun. Any team. Cool. Thank you so much. And last question is from Valeria. Hello guys, congrats with the win and qualifying to playoffs. My question is to the coach. Uh, in the short interview between the games, you said that you're the team who is anti-strutting yourself. So without re revealing too much, I just got curious, how does this process look like? Oh, maybe I didn't make myself clear, but the question towards me was that uh, Vitality is a team that anti-struts, but I meant to say that we're also a team that anti-struts the end. Uh -huh. So we're not really like playing the same any game. So teams that are anti striving us just keep on doing it. We're we're switching up constantly. So hmm. uh, is there any part uh, like in the team's preparation when you're just like looking at your own gameplay and trying to find like uh, like the weak sports and like discussing it? Uh, yeah, there is. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh... Thank you uh, for the journalists and also thank you, Leviathan, for being here. Uh, so congratulations again for your victory and reaching playoff. So see you later and thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, we expect to see you in the next press conference. <laughs>